sex with a narcissist. Well, I've been asked to talk about this subject and I think it is a very important subject. Um, firstly, the first big thing that comes up that sort of uh, is a problem with narcissists having successful sex is that they have no empathy. And then the other part is that they do not want to be attached to anybody. Um, often it can look like the narcissist is um, you know, caring about their partner during sex, what make, trying to make sure that the, the partner is having a good time, but that's only so that they can pin a little medal to their false lapel of their false self saying, I am a wonderful um, lover. There's another little star in their crowns. So, um, N narcissists, um, they, they don't want to join with anybody else. They're not interested in that at all. They, they just basically see um, sex partners as objects. Um, they basically, they, they basically just masturbate and use you as an object in their masturbation because it's all about them. It actually has nothing to do with you. It's all about how wonderful they are. And um, they get narcissistic supply also. So all of this is about narcissistic supply again. So it's, it's really this addiction they have goes into all parts of their lives. Um, they get a high out of you ogling over their body and how perfect it is and how how good they are in bed and what a Casanova or a goddess they are. That's what they're getting their high about. Um, it, it actually has nothing to do with you. Um, they, the narcissist, for normal people, bonding during lovemaking, bonding with an another person is one of the most powerful and profound um, feelings that anyone can experience but a narcissist um, can never experience that or feel it they will never bond with anyone it's it's just about sex and nothing else it's not a union between people a, a bonding of spirit and soul none of that um, so um, Sam Vaknin had defined two types of narcissists. Um, the cerebral narcissist, which is all about, they get their narcissistic supply from their intellect and their position in life. And then the somatic narcissist, who gets their narcissistic supplies from their sexual prowess, the, how sexy they are, what they look like, that type of thing. But the, those two narcissists are actually one narcissist because um, you will find that a cerebral narcissist at stages in their lives can become a somatic narcissist and a somatic narcissist can become a cerebral narcissist. And then you get some that, which is actually like my ex, that was a bit of each. Um, so, you know, and kind of used both sides a little bit um, so and usually when they do change it's because of a situation an external situation change or something like that um, my father now I'm going to talk about a personal story and the reason the only reason that I do this is because I think it helps people with the dynamics of what it's actually about and it, it helps people to even though my situation might be different to yours it, it helps you to identify um, aspects of your situation so I believe my my father was um, very much a cerebral narcissist um, now he was an intellectual he was a high-powered executive um, he, he was always um, very much into history and politics and always talking about that thing. But he, as far as his body went, um, 
he didn't ever do any exercise, he was overweight. Um, he, at home, he didn't really take care of himself very much. Uh, I mean, he would shower, I suppose, when he needed to and that. But I mean, often he would come to the dinner table and um, so he was overweight, like lots of fat rolls and that, sweaty, a little bit smelly and everything, and he'd have no top on. And, and you know, it was, just, it was like, it was almost disrespectful for the rest, I found personally, for, for the rest of us, because, you know, the, we all, you know, try to look at least decent um, for, for the other people that had to be around us, but that didn't bother him. So that was one of the um, aspects that I noticed in the cerebral narcissist. Um, and cerebral narcissists, they will often, so they'll put on an act in the beginning to keep the partner and that, but they often won't be, they won't need for the, to look like the Casanova in bed or, or whatever, because they are getting ample of their narcissistic supply already from their intellect. Um, so often with with them especially if they're in a long-term stable relationship um, they will become you know sort of asexual and um, often they will or, or only have sex when they really have to um, all narcissists actually prefer to masturbate than um, have sex with with one person they also, all narcissists prefer um, to have more than uh, one uh, person. They prefer group sex and uh, polyamorous sort of style relationships to monogamous, monogamous, <laughs> monogamous. Anyway, um, so with, now this is, um, with my ex that I was married to who was also narcissistic, a uh, slightly different narcissist to my father, um, also very, very successful. Um, and I had, uh, well, he's quite, quite good for this, but I actually had known him since he was a teenager because he was one of my brother's friends. I didn't have a relationship with him then, but um, I, I can remember the behaviors that, that he had. And with him, he was, um, he would go through phases where he became extremely good at different things. And then they would disappear. The, he would never do them again. Um, like he became, during the 80s, break dancing was very much in fashion and he became this sort of wonderful break dancer who'd like spin around on his back and, and he would um, do little, at very well-timed opportunities do little performances for the unofficial crowd who would applaud and think he was wonderful. Um, and he was also um, into bodybuilding, um, you know, in the, his last years at school, he sort of boasted about having the biggest muscles in his arms. And, um, but he also had a side of him that was, gave the appearance of being the most responsible, um, hard-working um, sort of person that was going somewhere so and and basically through his life so like he got out of the bodybuilding and never did it anymore uh, as he got older break dancing I mean I I think I don't think once in the 17 years that we were married did I see him do any kind of break dancing that was gone even though he was so much into it before um, because obviously that was how at that stage he was getting his narcissistic supply. Um, but he was, um, so he would, he would like to be, um, he would get some of his narcissistic supply from the cerebral, his intellect. I don't think he was as smart as my father, but uh, he was definitely very successful, very manipulative, uh, gave the appearance of, of knowing everything, you know, um, knowing just when to speak and when to have his little chuckle. <laughs> um, but he would also, um, and he, he did also for the cerebral side, for the actual sexual 
um, side, he did use the withholding of of sex. Um, also, um, sometimes sex not very often. But then he would, when in he was in bed, he would also want to be the sort of Casanova type as well. So there was a, a combination there, and I think this can happen as well. Um, all narcissists are autoerotic. That means that they actually uh, glean sexual pleasure from themselves. That's why um, sometimes they are, especially in the cerebral narcissists, are latent um, homosexuals. They also have, sometimes narcissists also have a tendency to um, be incestuous because that is um, sort of a, a way of m making love to oneself if it is the fruit of my loins, which is actually quite gross, but anyway. <laughs> um, and um, as I said before, they enjoy they actually prefer group sex and a polyamorous um, sort of relationship. Um, but the, so um, the, also the cerebral narcissist will often just totally suppress all their sexual urges and they will become totally asexual um, the reason that they go for a monogamous relationship, um, even though they, their desires are um, for a, you know, a more of a polyamorous relationship, is because um, the spouse is meant to be a secondary source of narcissistic supply and stable and there all the time. So when the narcissist is having a bad time, the, the spouse can say, well, remember when you did this and that to lift up their spirits. Whereas if they went for somebody that was polyamorous, there's a, they are not the most stable people. They usually, they often don't stay with one partner and the narcissist would be afraid that this person would um, not stay with them. So it's a bit of an oxymoron. So. The narcissist then um, rather goes with the monogamous relationship because of the stability, but he's going totally against his sexual urges, and this causes all kinds of resentment. He then resents his partner subconsciously um, and withholds sex from her and love, um, is not even attracted to his partner. Um, he actually, um, and, and, and this, this can be with a female narcissist as well, although I haven't heard as much information on a female narcissist, and as I'm actually heterosexual, <laughs> even though I know female narcissists, I haven't really been in a sexual relationship with them, so if you guys would like to add more information on that, that, that would be wonderful. I'd really be interested in hearing. But... Um, so, you know, um, this is this is actually what happens, and it it just ends up of a with a, a relationship with a monogamous um, spouse that is totally devoid of sex and lacking in love and everything else, which finally ends anyway. Um, it can also cause the spouse to, out of desperation, to have an affair, and the narcissist absolutely loves that, even though they will totally blame the, the other partner, but then they look like the wonderful, long-suffering one. But it was actually them that drove the partner to look for somebody else because of the way that they treat um, that partner. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and thank you as always for all your comments. Um, please, if there are any subjects you would like me to talk about, let me know. And I love your questions, and um, I'll try and answer some of them if I can. And 
As always, thank you for all the support. Goodbye.